If you run a small business, you may have heard how important it is to be active on social media. But creating quality social media content can take a lot of time. And what is quality content anyway? Creating images for your social media posts is a great place to start. Research shows that posts with images create more engagement. But how can you combine your social media messaging with great images? That's where Canva comes in. Canva is a free online graphic design tool that enables you to create professional images with no graphic design experience required. If you're new to Canva, you can create a free account here. This video will focus on creating posts for Twitter, where you want to create interesting content that will inspire your followers to become your customers. There are several different types of Twitter post templates in Canva. For this one, I'd like to create a quote post. So I'm going to click Quote Twitter Post. Now let's look at some of the template options. This one looks like a good option. A side-by-side -side template will give the photo and message equal emphasis. And this light background makes the text easy to read. The photo has a Canva watermark, which means it's a paid photo. But we won't worry about the photo, since we'll be changing it to a free one. Let's start by changing the message. Let's use a quote about dogs for the first example. Just select it and begin typing your quote. Then we'll go ahead and add the author's name. Depending on how much text you have, you may want to change the font size. Since this is a short quote, we can increase the font size a bit. We'll just click the text box and go up to the menu bar to change it. Let's try 36. You may also need to adjust the alignment. In this case, we can move the text down to center it vertically. Now, you can use the mouse to click and drag the text box, but that may change the horizontal centering. So we suggest using the arrow keys to move the box instead. We'll just keep pressing the down arrow until it looks centered vertically. You can also use Shift plus an arrow key to move it more quickly. Sharing quotes can be powerful. It gives you a chance to share knowledge from experts, to entertain, to tug heartstrings, and inspire your followers. However, we suggest being selective with quotes for two reasons. Some quotes can annoy your followers if the quotes are overused or sound insincere. And believe it or not, some quotes are protected by copyright. We advise researching the quote before sharing it with your followers. Now that we have our message, let's pair it with a photo that really tells the quote story. We'll select the current photo and click the trash icon in the menu bar. In this case, there are two options, and that's because the template includes something called a grid. A grid is a Canva feature that sets the size of the image and makes it easier to position a new photo in the same spot. So we'll keep the grid and click Delete Image. Now you have a few choices. You could upload a photo, it could be a photo of your business or a stock photo from a website like Unsplash. You can also click Photos to use one of Canva's stock images. Let's use the search bar to look for dog photos. Let's see if we can find one that matches the quote. This little dog seems perfect. You can drag the photo over the grid until it snaps into place. It looks like we're done here. We'll just take a moment to check it to make sure everything looks good. Now, if you only need to create one image, you could stop here and post it to Twitter. But you may want to create more images. And since we have the design exactly where we want it, we're in a good place to create more images without much effort. To get started on your new image, click the Copy Page icon above the image. This will create a copy. And then you can just replace the image and text to create another Twitter post. For example, a fun fact about dogs. If you're ready to create more images, feel free to repeat the process. By reusing a template with a simple design, you'll be able to quickly create batches of images. This will allow you to devote more time to gathering interesting content to share. When you're happy with your designs, you can publish directly to Twitter or download your images. We suggest downloading the images because it gives you more flexibility to choose when to post each image. Before downloading, we'll choose a file type. We'll go with a ping or PNG file because it's the recommended format. Then we can click Download. If a pop-up appears asking you to sign up for a paid account, you can click Continue Editing to go back to your designs. Once you've created your images, 
you probably don't want to post them all at once. Instead, you can start mixing these types of marketing posts with posts about your products and business. You may be able to get a few weeks or months out of these images, even though it took you a short time to make them. Regularly posting a variety of content will pay off, as it helps you build your customer base over time. Now that you know how to create quality images, we encourage you to start creating your own marketing posts in Canva. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.